All right. So in a talk yesterday that will remain nameless, someone dissed unless. People are always dissing unless. And so I'm here to, to stand up for poor unless. Wow, one person in the audience. Um, <laughs> so I think there are basically two kinds of people who are unless haters. There are people who think it's just a useless duplication of if not. And then there are other people who find it a painful reminder of uh, Ruby's connection to Pearl. For the second group, therapy. For the first group, you're wrong. <laughs> so languages, especially English, but languages in general don't like duplication. You really have to work hard to find two things that mean exactly the same thing. For example, if you look for a word that means someone by themselves, you get all of these, which range from something that's sort of a statement of fact to something that's kind of pathetic to something that's probably an action hero. Um, but they're all different, slightly subtle semantic meanings. And the, true, the, the same thing holds true for unless versus if not. If you say, if it's nice, we go to the park, versus unless it's nice, we'll go to the movies. We're saying, in the first statement, it's kind of neutral. If it's nice, we're going to the park. The second statement, we're sort of implying that it's not going to be nice. There's a, a slight negative connotation to, or a, not so much a connotation, but sort of an inference that it's not going to be nice. It might be, but it probably isn't going to be. Same with, if it rains, we'll go to the movies. Unless it rains, we'll go to the park. Same kind of thing. Um, Another complaint I commonly hear is that you can't say unless not. That's somehow bad. Unless is OK, but never use unless not. Well, if it's not raining, we'll go to the park. Unless it's not raining, we'll go to the movies. That's a perfectly valid sentence somebody might say. It, you know, again, says something about um, what we think the weather will be like. But sometimes it's awkward, too. Um, if it's not nice, we'll go to the movies sounds OK. Unless it's not nice, we'll go to the park. Sounds a little awkward. Um, or it should be the movies. It's, um, if, the, if you're negating a positive thing, unless gets a little awkward. Um, if you're negating a negative thing, it kind of actually works. But the point is, how does it read? Does it make your code more understandable if you use unless? You're conveying information. There were several talks yesterday about um, you know, making it easier to intuit, making code readable for people. Does it make it easier to read if you use unless? Then use it. Does it make it confusing? Don't. Simple.